Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my next Alien Isolation video. So going right in. I, I'm at this part where there's humans up ahead and they want to kill me. Light off! Nice and dark. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who's been commenting and following this playthrough. How many are there? She's gotta be mad, alien. Oh god, if she dropped right there, I'm dead. She almost had me. She had me on the ground. And then, oh, they're not even looking back here. Oh god, I better move. Oh, maybe I don't want to go in here, actually. I don't know if I want to go in the vents. There's a dead guy right there. Not sure I want to go in the vents. Because vents, I've seen her use vents, and she sounds like she's right above me. <laughs> Oh wow, there's four? Oh shit, that guy's looking Mahoney, to the right. thank God. We got jumped. Looters. Oh, I guess that was a safer way. <laughs> We're trapped. Elevator's out. You're right by systems and synthetic storage. There's all kinds of stuff to fix it. We don't know where to look. Boot up our requisitions, Android. Oh Is no. Insane? Don't boot up Anderson an Android. Wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an Android in a warehouse should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay. Francis out. <laughs> Asshole. Should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. Me neither. All right, so I'm in this gigantic room. Looks like the humans are trying to fix an elevator. Find a compression cylinder to repair the elevator. Oh, okay, I need to get out. Bef well, if they activate that android, oh my God. <laughs> this is a tight room with a lot of people in it. said he saw it so something will get away if we see it we just run <gasps> i wonder if she's gonna come out maybe she won't unless i make a really loud noise like firing guns <laughs> i'm gonna try to sneak around these people oh there's a vent on the floor right there Oh shoot, I'm like kicked together. We can get through this. Oh, that was nice. Alright, I'm gonna follow this, see where it goes. Stay awake, jackass. If we're gonna get through this, I need you alive. <gasps> oh wow. Pretty big bench. So, what do we do now? Hold on. Let me think. I'm right what did you think the noise was we heard earlier? Uh, the Sound alien? Like an explosion. Oh. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges. Can you believe that? Oh. He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. I heard that Waits has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fuckers blowing stuff up. 
No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. Wow, this area is huge. I'll let the alien come well, down here. Can I make another med kit? Oh, I can. I should. I only have one. Since I'm down here, maybe I should attract her to the I humans upstairs. Let her kill all of them shot. while I hide down Give here. Rest. That might be fun. <laughs> Is this a vent above me? Hmm. I wonder if the humans would your idea, follow me into a vent system. Like, I wonder if they would... Wow. Yeah, I wonder if they if they saw me go down here, if they would follow me. Then I'd have a problem. We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but... Oh! This feels so wrong. Ew, they eat someone! I think they ate somebody. They're cannibals! Oh wow, they're giving me a lot of things. Oh, I can make them. That's what I thought. All this ethanol, right? I thought I hated seeks in before. Hmm. Molly, maybe I can burn the humans. Uh-oh. First thing you hear is all kinds uh -oh. of noise in the vents. There's one right above me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Maybe he'll go away. Above me. Wow. Holy crap, guys. That was so shocking. Holy crap, guys. That was crazy. Is this the guy they ate? <laughs> oh, flashlight battery sucks. I'm gonna try to get back over there. Well, this might be safer. But if the alien's in here, it's not safe. I'm not gonna put my flashlight on. Oh god. We can get through this. Oh god. I can't believe she you know what I had my motion tracker on. Maybe that's how she knew I was there. Mahoney, thank God. We got jumped. Looters. We're trapped. Elevator's out. You're right, Mike. This is the synthetic story. All kinds of stuff to fix it. We don't know where to look. Who'd have a requisitions android? Is he insane? Oh. Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an android in a warehouse should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay. Francis out. Asshole. Should be fine. <laughs> well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. <gasps> Is that the alien? The hell was that? We're jumping in shadows. So am I, buddy. The alien sounds like she's all over the freaking place, guys. I want her to kill them. And to leave me alone. So I think I'm going to try to cause a commotion up there. I need her to be violent. <laughs> Very violent. Can I throw this here? 
Oh, I can't like stand up and like jump down really quick. Hmm. Time for smoke. Shit! Did you hear that? Yeah, the alien is out there, buddy. Get jumpy over nothing. Oh, they saw my molly light. They saw my molly light. Oh god, if the alien comes down here, I'm gonna like freak out. Have a look around. Find out what that was. Well, maybe they'll come down here and I can shoot them. But the alien is Someone here. Can... I just know there is. Shout. <laughs> That's a great it's idea. A waste of time. There's nothing here, you know. I guess they won't come down here. <gasps> There's all kinds of noise in the vents. I hate that I can't climb out on what on a like closer to the wall. I feel like I'm gonna die right now, right when I get up. Alright, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw a molly. Shit, shit, get in, get in. Oh, there's the alien. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! she can find me. I'm so freaked out. She's eating them. That was so freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't know if she can come down here. If she can come down here, I'm screwed. That was so cool. Oh, is this a, no. Oh. <gasps> the freak is that? <gasps> oh, I can go back there. She's not giving up. I can hear her breathing over me. <laughs> She's such a stopper. I am not freaking moving. <laughs> what is over here? come down right there for sure for freaking sure she can come down right there so I think she can get in the vents I'm gonna get out <gasps> I just saw her go up she's in the ceiling I saw her I think or maybe it was just this weird oh god where am I gonna go there they are the dead bodies Oh wow, this place is big. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I don't have my map. It's like not showing me anything. It's weird. I need to get, I need to hide. Uh oh. Wow, look at this, it's huge. Oh, synthetic storage. I have to maybe turn on a android? Oh my god. Oh, 
my god, this is not safe. I can hide under this desk right here. Which I will. I will hide here and wait a little bit. I got those humans killed. I burned them and then they got eaten. <laughs> I'm gonna wait here. <sighs> Look at that smile. It's very big. Is there a vent? I don't see a vent on the ceiling. Uh oh, she's gotta be around the corner. Wow, this is definitely a hard level. I can feel it. It's gonna be hard. Sebastopol's work in Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Oh, these are, out. these are the people that make the robots. And then there was also something else on the terminal. There was this. Tomorrow together. Oh, have I read this before? It sounds really familiar. Oh no. Our remarkable growth. Steak and Sun provided... Proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and the Lunar Shipyard, Warrington Frontier. Cool. <laughs> by 2071, the gear, the Sieg family sold its shares back to the company. Its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sieg and Son became market leaders manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Towards the end, towards the end of the last century came a move that would, for, that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Son became Siegson. We took on the name our customers had known us by for decades, and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. Hmm. Where are you, lady? Well, like we said in the comments, we're not sure if it's a girl or a boy alien. <laughs> not that it matters too much, but I like calling it a girl. It sounds like she's just up in the... She's not jumped down, maybe. I don't understand. I, don't, I just don't have a map, which is kind of scary. And I'm afraid to use my motion tracker because I think that's how she... Uh-oh. I thought I heard a door open. Oh wow, look at that, there's a ladder. There's a freaking ladder. Can I go up in the ladder? Do I want to? I don't know if I want to. Oh wow, this place is humongous. Oh, a save station. I'm gonna save my game. Alright, and this room looks... Wow. in there. Is 
There's some sort of poisonous gas in that room, which I can't get past. That's so weird. Um, I wonder if I have to find, like, breathing gear? Oh my god, like, this is not good, guys. I have one med kit, and that's it. I just used it. How do I get back down there? <gasps> oh god, guys, this is not good. I've never encountered poisonous gas before. Uh-oh. Please don't blow up in my face. like robots. Do not like them. Wow, this place is huge. It's so cool though. Hmm. Restore power. How the heck is she gonna get in this room? <gasps> right there. Uh-oh. I'm getting away from that thing. <laughs> I think she can come out there. Uh-oh. Oh god, the noises. What is all this stuff? There's more vents everywhere. That's not good. I don't want to go in vents. They're dark and scary. Oh, another save station. Wow. Wow, another save station. That's crazy. Alright, so I have a better map. That's where the humans were that got killed. Um, and now there's several levels. Hmm. I didn't really explore much yet. What is that? <gasps> oh, an access tuner upgrade. That's cool. Can I make a med kit? Oops, oops, no, don't do that. Amanda, don't swing your freaking wrench. What did I need? I need a bonding agent. But poor guy, he's dead. So now there's something on my access tuner that allows me to get in places I have never been able to get before. Uh oh. Is she here? I don't see any vents on this side. Maybe it's safer over here. Hmm. I'm not sure once the android comes out. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to like use it. Do I have to talk to it? <laughs> how do I talk to it when it's probably gonna kill me? I don't know. But I guess this is it. Oh, I have to restore the power. That's right. I forgot. Um, I'm gonna leave this room. Go back up there. Maybe I can 
can get in this room now. Key card. <gasps> Let's save it one more time. I've never seen so many save stations, it's crazy. up a door. Can she get in here? Oh my god, guys. It sounds like she's really close to me. Um. Oh shoot, I did the wrong one. Oh, if I don't do this right, does it make an alarm? Oh, I did the code wrong again with the freak Rachel. This one, this one, and oh, I didn't select it. There we go. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. heard that guys. Oh, they won't let me see it. Well, I'm not going to bother saving it. I'm just going to go downstairs. Um, so I need a key card. Oh, I can get in here. Um, oh, there's four. That's how I did it wrong. I was looking for three. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I there's four symbols instead of three that's how I was doing it all wrong she can't get in here a flare whoa ethanol and a terminal spedding speeding now you've now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The, the, the guys decommissioning Sebastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need locking. So use the requisitions android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you'll already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. He got fired. Um, I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. My guys have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job off the top of my head. I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage. Row 1, stack B. Ooh! Row 1, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions Android. Smythe, it's Spedding. You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sebastopol's Apollo system. I totally fucked the Android presentation. Uh-oh. They're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. Ooh, he's angry. Alright, so row one, stack B. Where is that? I'm gonna save it one more time. Can she get in here? I'm like, I feel like I'm safe up here. Alright, descending. Oh god. What if she's like right below me? <laughs> oh god, guys. Should I? Do I have a reason to go back into that room where the humans were? 
Hmm. I kind of want to, like, explore and loot their bodies. I don't have a med kit, and that would really be helpful, I think, to have a med kit. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot! I didn't really look around. Oh my god. I'm like lost. Which way did I come? Um, okay, it was that way. I didn't go this. I didn't look over here. Oh wow, it goes upstairs? Holy crap, this is awesome. Don't come here, alien. What's in here? Another save station. Ooh, a smoke bomb schematic. I thought I already had one. I don't know. Another save station. It's crazy. I guess it's a really dangerous area. Let's look at this terminal. Working Joe. Storage. Um, all right, and now I'm going to go and read it here where it's safer. Storage inventory. Russell upstairs want a full rundown of what we've got stacked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there, some junk. They want estimates too. Uh, and then this was the other one. Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Spedding will hang me up to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Sevastopol Synthetic Solution. Next up on your tour will be the Systex Spire and the Apollo Core itself. Ooh, um, I must be nearby to that. But first, an example of Android self-governance. When Apollo Synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic-to-synthetic -synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required. No costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo, and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow together. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, should I save it again? I don't know if I want to save it, because... I don't know if I really want to venture this way yet. If I get killed, I think I'd rather be in the room that I was before. It's so quiet. It sounds like she's not around me. At all. Oh wow, another room. Oh, a map! Wow, this place gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm on the same level as that other thing. Oh my god. Wow, this area is so huge. Wow. Uh-oh, she can drop down or no, those are slates. Can I make a med kit now? No. It's so creepy quiet, like she's not here at all. Oh, I got more flares. I'm gonna read the terminal. Report synth, head of synthetic development. I just received schematics for the 12888. I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the Seeks and Borg is gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems old tech for uh, way to, I think they're talking about oh, wait, the Yutani thing, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. Uh oh, they have a mole in their competitor, in their competitors. <laughs> Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland yutani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. 
Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Hmm. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Oh, there's a dead guy right there. Oh, God. Where is the alien? I don't even hear her. huge I'm getting too close to that I'm gonna go this way There's so many levels. Should I go see where that goes? Uh oh, I hear the alien. That's not good. Where is this? Oh, right by a vent. Oh, I'm in the room where the humans died. I want to check their bodies. For loot. Oh, am I, I can't go back here. I wonder if she's active in this room. Oh god. <laughs> this guy, he tried to run. Oh, she got him. She got him good. <laughs> oh, wow, I don't even... Oh, there you go. <gasps> I'm sorry, people. What's up here? really unsafe to be in this room for some reason. <gasps> oh, there's a vent right above them. Uh oh, there's a vent right there. Alright, I'm gonna go back. Now that I've looked around. Oh god, please don't kill me right here. <sighs> oh god, guys. right here all right so i'm gonna take a break check my fraps like i always do thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time i'll well, see you soon probably i don't know how long this video is <laughs>